another bluesy style uh, little progression for you um, that is used over and over, and it's really fun to jam out. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it, and then I'll probably give you, you know, give you a nice little tasty lick, you know, as a sprinkling on top. All right. So here's what it sounds like. <laughs> So there's uh, quite a bit of rhythm involved and a uh, little bit of tricks with two really basic chords though. So the two basic chords that I am playing are an E major chord and an A major chord, which you could also play with one finger kind of like A power chord style. But then what I'm doing is I'm, with the E chord, I'm strumming the strings open really quick and then hammering down the E chord like that so I think the best way to learn uh, the rhythm of this is to just you know try and break it up into little pieces so um, another thing I'm kind of lightly touching the strings uh, with the back of my right picking hand palm just enough to where I kind of feel those strings vibrating under under the palm like so with no palm meaning it sounds like that with a little bit of palm muting Check that first sequence out. So that's going to be a down, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down. I'll do it, then you do it. You go. Then we're going to go. So it's going to be a down on the A, and then I'm going to do another down hammering on that E chord. So let's just try that little move. best thing you can do, I'm going to play it just the normal way. The best possible thing you can do is to just try and play it with me to the best of your ability. And it'd actually be cool if you're not quite up to par with it to just act like I'm sitting there right with you and I'm like, you know, going, come on, dude, jam. Let's just have a good time. Just jam it. You know, and the more you try to keep up with me, the quicker you're going to get it as opposed to just, you know, sitting you know, in a dark room going, oh, I gotta get this, I gotta get this, okay? So I'm just gonna play it a bunch, you play it with me, and then I'll just show you a, uh, you know, cool lick with it, all right? Here we go. One, two, I want to, here we go.
Okay, so if I was playing that progression, you could actually go to A with the same rhythm and do the exact same thing, but with A and D and then hammer on the A again. And then back to the first part. show you some of those cool little tricks I was doing right there. We're going to zoom in. I'm going to show you my fingers exactly what they're doing and you're going to shred it up five minutes a day and you will be shredding. Okay peeps, here's what we're going to do. Uh, obviously we have the open E chord, so the open E minor pentatonic is what I'm kind of using here which is zero, three, with my ring finger, zero two with my middle, zero two with my middle, zero two with my middle, and then zero three with my ring, and zero three with my ring. Okay, that's you know the scale. Uh, awesome in this kind of like heavier kind of rock kind of thing. Middle finger on the one, two, three, four string down the G string, just rip into it and bend it up like you know, I mean, like you're strangling the guitar, like you know, with some with some fire, you know, just like this. And then I'm just releasing it and then just going to the second fret on the D string. And a cool trick you can do is once you're bent up, you can um, play with your pickup selector during the bend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it up and then I'm going to, as it's, you know, as it's there, I'm going to play with that selector. It's a cool little trick. Okay, another thing you can do with this scale especially is, uh, you can use your middle or your ring finger for this, and I'm going to be on the B string, the second to the last string down, and I'm going to just slide it up either from, yeah, from the third fret to the fifth fret, but then also let the high E ring out with it. You can just do this kind of thing. Right? And then the last thing I did, and this is one of my favorite things, I don't think I've put this on video yet, and I take my ring finger on the third fret of the high E string and my middle finger on the second fret of the B string, and I play those two as a chord. But I can use that off and on with the two open strings there, like. Let's jam it out. <laughs> okay, you ready to jam it out? I sure am. <laughs> Let's go. Let's have a great time now. Are you feeling good? I'm feeling good. 
Good. We're both good. Here we go. One, two, three, we go.